Hello everyone, this is Raj Mathu. One of my last video, I have shown you how to create the users on the Epsilator cloud service so that they can get authenticated and they can get access to your application. So I have already created the application on my last video that I have already shown you that is the demo users here now and also I have created the one of user for development purpose so here you can see that on the last you can find that there is a already I have added a user so the username is test user and the user ID and all its other details so now let's uh, go to the application demo user on the Titanium studio and let's see how can we log in for this user so for that I have already created the project to save this our time. So here, this is my view where I have the I have a window and two text field that is that will contain the text user username and also the password and a button login button on click of which button the user get authenticated on the cloud and they get access and they will uh, the cloud will return other user details for this current user. So, before going to the code, let's uh, see the some style that I have added for this text field and also for the button. So, very beginning, I have added the window uh, style for window that the background color I have assigned white and the layout I have given vertical. The layout is I have assigned due to the fact that uh, the all the component on the windows they should come one after another on the window so I have made it vertical so and the text uh, field that is text username the, this is the styling for the username which is given the width height border radius and the border style so that they can appear in a good look and also the hint text that will be the username for the username field and for the same for the password but one field that is extra on the password text box that is password marks so that uh, it will hide the text that was entered on the text box for password and similarly added some style for login button so that's it and now as I have already shown you there is a click event associated with the login button which calls a function that is login user now that should be defined on the controller associated associated with this view so as this is the view index.xml so definitely the controller will be the index.js as because they should named as uh, equal uh, they sh their name should be matched so now here i have already defined the function login user where first of all i have created a variable which gets the module titanium ti dot cloud which I have already added while creating the project that on XML file you can see that here on XML you can see that the checkbox one of one of its checkbox is checked with like here while creating uh, sorry while creating the application you have the provision to uh, check one checkbox which will enable the cloud service with your application and due to that this module gets integrated here so now on index.js i have just first called that module within a variable that called cloud now this cloud module has some function called users.login which is exact actually authenticate the your user that is is a valid user or not with the cloud service so here i am passing the two parameters login and password which contains the username for login and the for password it contains the password text data now on return of this service it will return a bool function which will bool data boolean data which will be which is a success if the call gets success 
now we can have the other data that are sending back from the cloud service so for the time being i have just showing the first name for the user that i that currently get tried to log in to the app so let's save it and i am going to run the application on the simulator so here you can see the application get log run here already now just add the username and the password now just click the button logins now it will get okay there's showing some error on index.js okay let's move to the code line number nine oops and there i have left this value so let's save it now run again now let's add the username here so as i have already created it as a test user and similarly the password is also test user that's it okay the it returns actually it gets success and it returns the first name as undefined so might be i had didn't add the user f first name last name on the uh, service cloud so let's go for that let's check it here let's edit it now here you can see that yes i missed that so for that test user let's make a test user saving it now let's get back into the application again and let's check it again here now probably it will now return the user first name so here you can see that it gets successfully logged in and also it returns the data for the current logged in user as the as it displaying the first name here so that's it for today on my next video i will continue with some other user functionality which is um, provided by the uh, accelerator cloud service consecutively Thanks.